Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Michelle Holden and I'm a mixed media artist. And in this video, I'm going to talk you through the steps of how and why I'm creating this series of abstracts. Um, I guess you can call them abstract landscapes. Um, I've chosen to create them in my journal so it's just a more comfortable place to create and not to worry about the big end product as us artists tend to do. Um, as you can see, I'm just starting um, with some water soluble graphite and I'm just activating the surface. Um, I'm experimenting with different ways to activate the surface in this series of, of art journals. I'm using my uh, watercolor paper, 140 pound, um, just for this particular series because um, I wanted to try it. As you can see, I'm using the ink tents. They're a water soluble colored crayon and they're fabulous. Starting to push myself, trying to use and start with different colors and always keeping in mind that I can always cover it and cover it with with what different types of layers that's another thing that I'm exploring uh, opaque layers transparent layers and as you can see um, a little bit of water goes a long way with these um, I'm choosing these because I discovered um, when I use them once in the other uh, series of art journals that I did with positive affirmations as you can see, you can still see underneath. And um, this is just inexpensive craft acrylic that I get at um, Michael's. And of course, I mix it up with golden. Uh, it just depends what you have. Use what you have on hand. And I really like using the brayer, um, as you can see. Um, unexpected marks. Sometimes I want a brush stroke. A lot of the times in this series, I don't. So I'll apply it and then do one pass with the brayer. And yes, so liking the shapes that the brayer can make. And you just never know. Now, if you want control, if you want to know what's going on, you can put the dots so you know they're going to spread out either horizontally or vertically depending on the direction that you're rolling. So in this one, it's more of a warm, neutral abstract. And that's the uh, titanium buff. And here are my collage pieces. So I'll select a group of them before each journal just what do I feel like because I don't want to think too much uh, the total time to create this is about 20 minutes or so and that's plenty now if I'm getting into some other textures or I discover something that needs to dry a little longer that's fine but mostly 20 or so minutes to create this um, I discovered uh, some wonderful black and white uh, images from some old texts. Uh, this book was uh, about bridges. Of course, there's my moon. There's my black and white moon image. I may or may not put that in. <laughs> totally, yeah. Now, uh, looking at this video, I should have put it in. <laughs> That's the thing. You just never know what you feel like. Uh, using letters, numbers. This time it's uh, the letter Q. It has various meanings. And I don't like showing the whole letter or number. I like things hidden. That's sort of like the underlying message of this abstract series as what I'm trying to communicate. <clears throat> but I want that interpretation um, to be free to the viewer. I'm really liking that, uh, how that yellow ochre and orange mix together. Oh. The, uh, I guess, natural colored tone of tissue paper. Why am I using it? Just look. 
it's so transparent and leaves such a really neat effect. Uh, the medium I'm using is a heavy gloss gel, Liquitex, fine product. And then of course, trying to be careful because I don't want any bubbles. Uh, some bubbling is okay, but I don't like a lot of bubbles or any bubbles with using the tissue paper because it's so, it's so fine, but it, you can tear it easily. Now it's sort of a creamy, opaque underneath it, but it'll dry clear and you won't see those, uh, those marks uh, or the waves that I'm pushing with my finger right now. And I should be coming up to the sky. Yes, I'm really needing or wanting to make the dark skies anything that refers to the stars, all of this kind of meaning, symbolism. So you can make abstract work. Um, you can guide maybe the viewers thinking, but still everybody's going to interpret your image in their own way. So this is some nice natural, um, I guess mailing paper, just the brown paper. As you can see, I'm just putting it around and nope, nope, not feeling it. So I'll, that's what I'll do. I'll just keep moving around and I want to be fast. I want to be fluid because I still I don't want to think too much. Oh yes. So for that subtlety in the sky. <clears throat> and I, at times and in the future, I want to move away from any literal uh, interpretation or concept. Oh, I noticed it was a little wide, so I just tore it off and I wanted some more torn edges showing because they have a really cool effect. Oh, save all your pieces. This was just, uh, it, it, can, it can really be more effective than say the circle that was cut out of this, cut out of this shape. So for open shapes, so you can still see the peaks of the layers underneath. And I'm just yeah, using the fingers, applying some sort of repeated patterns but I don't want them to stand out too much. And I think I'm coming to the end of this piece. So, oh, one more little image. Sometimes you'll cut out an image and then flip it on the other side. You'll go, wow, look at that. And you end up using that instead. And so it's it has a horizon line in the image. So I'm just sort of matching it with the line or the definition there between the raw umber and the lighter neutral tone. And um, that's it. I'll experiment. You'll see me just, I think no more needs to go in there. You know when the piece is finished, it'll tell you. Any more, it'll feel like a garage sale. So. <clears throat> Underneath, I might be covering up just to make the eye wander around the whole piece. And one more little piece just to join that letter. It just seemed a little empty there. So to carry the eye upward. And these things can be done very quickly. So I'm going to peel the tape off and we'll see the finishing image, artwork, and there it is. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe as it can help me with my channel because I want to keep creating more. And I'll sign the bottom. I don't know why I do that. I'm using pencil just for my own records. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video 
and uh, there's going to be more to come. Thank you.